welcome to our lesson on geometry and in this lesson this is our first lesson we're just going to basically introduce you to a few important terms so as we, as the lesson progress and as we start to use these terms you will understand what they mean all right now the first term here that I would like to look at is what is a plane and f by definition a plane means level ground or we're working with a flat surface okay so just a just a typical example you may be sitting around a table if you look at the top of the desk the top of the desk would be a flat surface so that's what we're referring to when we speak about a plane right it's a flat surface or it's the top of the desk or it's or it's level ground um let's say you play football for some reasons okay just let me just get this out and the football pitch let me use a green to represent my plane since i'm dealing with a football pitch now guys let's say you you play football or you may play netball or whatever right now the ground that the 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 pitch is on would be a flat surface so if it's football we're talking about um let's say that's our that's our football field and imagine i'm looking at the football field from a side view okay i'm standing at the side and looking straight at the pitch so the, at this end of the pitch i would have a now at this end of the pitch yeah i would have a goal post so let's say this is my goal post this is my net and let me change my color a bit now this would be my goal post okay so that's my goal post right there let me just make it a little bit bigger so that's one goal the red represent the net and at the other end of the football pitch i would have another goal post okay so at this end also let me draw my net so this would be my net the net at the back of the goal to catch the ball when the ball when someone scores a goal all right so that's my other goal post okay so so this green surface here this 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 line this green line would represents the surface of the football field all right and let's say for example the green grass and if you notice it's flat it's flat it's level so that's what we mean when we're speaking about a plane basically all right let's move on to our second term that we would like to introduce you to other than a plane and the second is a point you, we, sh we must know what is a point when working with a uh, as it relates to geometry rather right now a point is a location in space and if you notice I have put the word location in bold because it's very important to note that we're not speaking about a dot right and I'll show you what I'm speaking about in just a few now a point is a location in space note this is very important that a point has no thickness no depth no length nor depth remember now guys a point is something that we cannot touch all right it is simply a location and let me underline that very important word okay it is simply a location and remember now it has no thickness so you can't touch it you can't lift it up you can't measure it okay now it, some persons may be accustomed to the whole fact that and let me just get something here quickly um, if I should do something like this if I should make a dot there they would say okay that's a point no this is not a point this is a dot or most commonly called a period okay it is not a point when I'm speaking about a point I'm speaking about a specific location so if I want to I could I could say that this dot this red and blue dot is located at a point and the point that this red red and blue dot or red and blue dot yes is located at it is close to the bottom of the screen and close to the left of the screen also okay so I am speaking about this specific location sorry about that <clears throat> I'm having a little bit of cold so please bear with me so this is what I'm saying where the dot is located is the point but this is a dot it is not a point all right so please try to distinguish the difference between a dot and a, and a point because a point is simply a location we can't even see it all right thank you now that's it for the for two terms now the th now the third term that i would like to look at is what is a straight line okay and bear in mind a straight line as 
is what I mean by what is a line here for number three. Now a line is a collection of points following a specific path and running forever in opposite direction. All right. Okay, so now let's just look at what this definition means. All right, I'm just going to draw a line, for example. Now let's look at some quick examples. So my first line, let me use a black color quickly. All right, black. My first line, want a black. So, well, that's a blue. So that's my line, all right? Now, this is, this is pretty cool. Um, when I, when you draw a line, once you're dealing with a line, arrowheads must be on the tip of the lines. This indicates what the arrowheads indicates is that this line doesn't stop here. It runs forever going in, in to my left and it is running forever going to going in this direction to my right. Okay. What I'll do, I'm going to show you something now. Let's mark this point on the line and I'm going to and let's mark this point on the line here. And I'm going to call those two points. This is point A and this point would be point B. Alright? Now sometimes you may be reading books or maybe in the exam and they'll you'll you'll see notations such as these and I'm just gonna do it quickly here. You'll see, for example, an arrowhead like that and an arrowhead. And below it, you will have A, B. Now, what this notation means, that it means that they're speaking about the line A, B. Because if you look here, you, see, you would see that the line passes through the points A and the points B. But it, it, it continues forever. It continues forever to the left, continues forever to the right. Okay? So that's what we mean when we're speaking about a line. Okay? Another important note that I would like to make when working with lines is that there are different types of lines that we should be aware of. And quickly, I'm just going to run through them very quickly. Um, the first one I would like to look at is the horizontal line, all right? And this line that we have drawn here just now, the name of this line would be a horizontal line. And just let me just make a quick note of it before I move. Uh, this is a horizontal line. Horizontal. Zon tall okay so that's a horizontal line let's just pull this over a bit to get a little bit more space so this is a horizontal line okay the name of this line the type of line that I've drawn here now there are other types of lines that I would like you to be familiar with and just let me change my color quickly Oops, where is this thing all right good um, let's look at some different types of lines let me just change my color all right, I'm going I'm going to be working with a what's this now a red line. Okay, yes, good. Now, this line, if you notice, it is downward sloping from from right to left, okay? Or it could it could look something like this also. All right, it could look something like that. It doesn't have to be running this it doesn't have to slope this direction. It could also slope that direction. So since I'm working with lines, just let me quickly put my arrowheads on them because once you're dealing with lines or straight lines, you must have arrowheads on the tip to show that they continue forever. Okay, so let me place my arrowhead there so these two lines are called diagonal lines okay so let's just make a quick note there these two lines are called diagonal lines so when you see a line looking like this slanting diagonal okay the, these two lines are would be classified as diagonal lines now those are two types of lines let's look at the final one so this line here is called my vertical line and my vertical line is downwards it's it's a straight line running from top to bottom okay all right let me just put on my arrowheads now to indicate what i'm talking about it's running forever that way and it's running forever that way and as i've said this line is a what we call a vertical vertical say vertical line okay so 
to sum it up, we have three types of lines. A line that runs from left to right, it's called a horizontal line. A line that is downward sloping from right to left or from left to right is called a diagonal line. And the third type of line that we have is a vertical line. And a vertical line runs from top to bottom. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.